Patty, how long have you been using motion in your practice? Probably been using motion in my practice about five years now. And it was very easy, right, yeah, to incorporate for sure. into the patient flow and teach to our, you know, assistants yeah. and No question patients, about that. You know, Pick it up right away. Totally. I think, to be honest with you, I was not... I don't know if, I, if you could say I wasn't doing it correctly, but I just wasn't uh, trusting myself to get the results that I thought I should be getting. And then the change happened when I went to Utah and I just built a new practice and I thought, listen, if there is a time to change everything, including you know my mechanical philosophy, this is it. So John, kind of take me through how you systematically implemented um, you know, motion hundred percent. I'd had enough experience with individuals, myself included, that dabbled in things. Um, and so I just decided, let's just do this. So the real question then became, uh, how severe do they need to be before you do the class two motion or the class three? So I started, you know, kind of making up these artificial triggers Okay. for lack of a better word. And, and then I just realized that I was missing some of these patients. That was the, the incentive for me to really decide that if they're a class two case, no matter what, I'm gonna use a motion appliance. Or if they're a class three, no matter what, I'm gonna use a motion. I have a lot of friends that have, have tried it. I think almost all of my friends have at least said they've tried it. Uh, and, and the ones that don't still use it are usually ones that say, yeah, I've got it. I know how to use it. If I need it, I pull it out. You know, we're all very busy orthodontists and you know, that typically then ends up not happening much. And, and I just think that they're missing out on so much and shortening treatment times. And a part of the problem is that I don't know if our staff really does understand the how quickly and how trouble free I mean, what's your experience well I, we take pictures at every visit I don't know if you do that yes. is that part of your system so important okay yeah. yeah and so they can see it and you know, I pull the assistant over as well yeah. as you know the parent and the kid and just say you know this is what this is our goal right and this is where we started and this is where we are now yeah you know and we just just talk about that and right. so the assistants can see that right and they're like oh my gosh dog, I can't believe like it's only been two months this motivates the patients but also on the reverse on the contrary yeah if they're not progressing that's your point to say, and that's your opportunity to address it right then yeah. with the patient and the parent and just knock out that non-compliance from the get-go. I track my, my overall treatment times on all my patients, phase one, phase two, adults, kids, and then I average it, and it's a rolling average, so it changes. From month to month, it's a rolling average, but unless you're doing it consistently, you're not gonna shorten your treatment times because you don't see all of the things that arise that you need to figure out and work around or whatever. Okay. That is the difference right there. Th that is it, right? Because not only to me and my staff, but that is why you feel confident in telling a patient, listen, your treatment's gonna be about a year. Yeah. Sometimes they can't believe it. Right. Um, and, and I think that is the trick. Do you have a tip or a trick to sort of persuade or <laughs> tell yeah. these adults, right. this is what you need? Yeah. And how do you get them to agree? We have them on the on the consult little coffee table, and I just I I tell them that on all of my patients that need front to back correction to make their bite right, it used to be that it would be rubber bands and a long time and frustration. And now for all of those patients, I tell them it's this device, and I hold up, you know, and they let them hold it and tell them the virtues of it, right? And that it's so much quicker that that it's made our office just a happier place to be and our patients are happier. So they need to know, you know, it's so foreign looking to them. The greatest thing for me has been just doing it on, you know, virtually all of my AP discrepancies. And I, and I think that it's just a matter of, and, and I mean, really drilling down to the patient that the reason these treatment times are short is because we're taking advantage of your biology. We're not having everything connected together, you know. So I do go into the mechanics of the motion a little bit and just let them know so that they have some sort of a, a reference that they know that this isn't just voodoo, you know. They are ready to change. Their life's gonna change, whether it's an adult, and I treat half my patients are adults. They're ready to change, not only in their smile, but obviously in their lifestyle for a time. And I think it's just capitalizing on that.